history was made when the Kia Telluride SUV was crowned the World Car of the Year, the most prestigious and highest honor in the automobile world. The awards are adjudged by an international jury comprising 86 of the most respected, experienced and well-established automobile journalists from 24 countries. The Telluride's win is significant not only because it is Kia's first ever world car title, but also for being Korea's first. And perhaps even more important, it truly is the culmination of a product evolution that began at Kia a few years ago. There's also been a growing recognition of that effort and an emphatic world car title win cements that now. It has seen the company transformed into not just a producer of quality cars with exciting design, but also an SUV powerhouse. And it is obvious to see if you just glance at Kia's global portfolio of vehicles. Everything from the new Telluride to the traditionally popular sedans like the Optima or SUVs like the Sportage and even volume spinners like the Stonic or the Nero are all cars that have one thing in common. They are modern and are very, very good looking. And yes, the SUVs dominate that portfolio because that is where the buyer's interest is supreme. The Telluride is Kia's flagship car for the US market. Devised, designed and built in North America, the Telluride currently sells only on that continent and also in the Middle East. The car is what the Americans call a mid-size SUV but is in fact very large, with three rows standard. It also has a lot more that is standard. You don't get a sense of that bulk or the weight that this vehicle is pulling. It is fairly smooth and easy to drive and then when you put it into sport mode and the steering stiffens up a bit, it also handles quite nicely. It's that same kind of appeal, yet with its own identity, that we see in the latest Kia SUV, the fourth generation Sorento. The car has just been unveiled in March 2020 and it looks stunning. If the Telluride and Sorento are lookers, let us not forget the Sportage and then, below it in size, our very own Seltos. The Sportage is also in its fourth generation and is one of Kia's best-selling models globally. The Seltos, on the other hand, is an all-new model, introduced worldwide for the very first time as Kia had no compact SUV at this price point or size. The Seltos had its grand debut in India and has since gone on sale in Korea South Africa and now in the United States too. And Kia has not stopped at that. It recently drove in the Carnival Premium MPV2. For the longest time, people had a mere handful of options when it comes to buying a car that's spacious and yet offers a premium feel packed with features and tech without stepping into the high maintenance luxury set. The Carnival fills a sweet spot then. And if you compare to the regular MPVs, well, it's certainly a lot bigger. It's a lot more premium too and still won't burn a hole in your pocket. Carnival has seven, eight, and nine-seater configurations and comes with envy-inducing features like plush seating and even power rear sliding doors. 
The Carnival is once again a big car. Staying in the utility vehicle space, Kia has a wide variety of MPVs, crossovers and SUVs in its global lineup. The Nero is a crossover model that appeals to several family buyers. While the slightly more compact Stonic appeals to the stylish individual. The Stonic is smaller than the Seltos but bigger than the upcoming Sonnet. Many of these cars are now undergoing generation or model cycle changes and what we are starting to see are green variants with hybrid, plug-in hybrid or EV options starting to go on stream. One such car that has done this extremely efficiently is Kia's second World Car 2020 winner, the World Urban Car of the Year 2020, the Kia Soul EV. The third generation car takes the quirky, roomy and funky tall boy into an even more credible and dynamic zone. The new Soul EV is also an improvement over the previous one which was a very competent electric to begin with. It is the ideal urban car in many ways and the fact that it's electric now, it's also quick, it also handles quite nicely, it's also really well loaded on the inside as far as all the equipment is concerned. The Soul EV is at the opposite end of the spectrum from the Telluride in so many ways. And size is the least of them. It along with the lineup of hatches, sedans, crossovers, MPVs and SUVs, not to mention the hybrids and EV models, shows the breadth and depth of Kia's engineering prowess, design strength and varied model portfolio. And if buyer interest, popularity and awards are anything to go by, Kia is well on its way to becoming one of the key SUV manufacturers in the world.